So since it's finally not 5 in the morning, it's time for me to talk about the Duel Link's 5th anniversary celebration. And it's pretty straightforward, right? Every year we get some, uh, some dream tickets, ultra rare, super rare dream ticket. We're getting a playmat, some sleeves, some gems, a skill ticket, a brand new skill, and a copy of Monster Reborn. Which is going to be limited to one, off the bat, right away, limited to one. Which means that decks like Thunder Dragon and Blue Eyes, they can't really run it. Because they want to run Melody. And so they can't run Melody and Monster Reborn. Which I think is fair enough. <laughs> um, if you want to roleplay Kaiba, you're playing Blue Monster Reborn. If you don't, you're playing Melody. And I think that sets quite a cool, you know, precedent, right? That we can, you know, in the future get some brand new cards come to the game and straight away go to limit 1, limit 2 or limit 3. I think that's the way Konami need to go about this as we're slowly, or well not slowly, we're, we're quickly kind of coming on the more recent card pool, right? And we're going to eventually need to bring in some of these staples, you know, these very old DM era staples, you know, like Book of Moon or things like Magic Cylinder or Mirror Force. Uh, eventually they'll probably be like, okay, you can play one of this in your deck. And it will become kind of like the Legend Rare from Rush Duel, in a way, because they're hard forcing them to be, you know, at limit one. So, overall, you know, good start so far for Anniversary, really good. But then we get to this. Ah, oh, a brand new structure deck for Dark Magician. The really, if, if you saw my, you know, thing on Twitter last night before I fell asleep, I was not impressed, and I still am not. First of all, we're getting a brand new alternate art for Dark Paladin. We're getting uh, this boy here, which is a very nostalgic artwork for me. Uh, it came out in the Duel Masters Guide. It's like a two two box deck for Yugi and Kaiba. Got that for Christmas one year. Like, God, what? Seventeen years ago, something like that. You know, a very long time ago. Cool, we're getting it, but it doesn't it doesn't really deserve to be the cover card of a Dark Magician deck. Then we're getting Strength in Unity, which, again, I don't think is any good for the current, for the current Dark Magician build, right? So, if you Ritual Future Summon a monster using Blue Eyes or Dark Magician, you can target one card you put in control so in the graveyard and banish it. The graveyard thing's pretty cool, right? It gives you versatility the circle doesn't give you, but it is only for the Ritual Fusion Summon. And if we're looking at something like Dark Magician, right, for the Fusion variant, you have Dark Magician of Chaos, which can banish a card or destroy a card when a spell effect is activated. So you get double the benefit, but you're already running Circle. And Circle gets your consistency, which Dark Magician right now don't need more power. They need more consistency. And this doesn't really do much for it, especially when most of the builds for Dark Magician are playing Xyz and then playing like one copy of Dark Cavalry. Right, that they're not really focusing on the fusions, and until we get the Dark Magicians and other fusion support cards, I don't think they will. But it does have a very cool recursion effect, right? You can send to the graveyard to basically add back a Dark Magician to your deck or your um, or your hand or blue eyes, and it's good for navigation, right? If you have a Dark Magician in hand, and then you can put one back from your graveyard into the deck to kind of get that second special summon off, which is nice. But I don't think it fits in anywhere right now. In Blue Eyes, it might work if we got Chaos Max or Chaos Dragon, because then that build would be a little bit different from the standard Rank 8 Blue Eyes build, but you could still play the same extra deck. And again, I don't think it would either way. I don't think Blue Eyes or Dark Magician really need this extra banish. The recursion effect's great, but the extra banish, I don't think they really need. But the, the, the next card is a little bit better. Destined Rivals. If you control your Blue Eyes or Dark Magician, negate the effects of all face of monsters your opponent currently controls to the end of the turn. And it's a hard once per turn, but this is searchable off Magician's Rod and off Circle. So I think you'll run one of this in Dark Magician in Blue Eyes. I don't, I don't think they need it. Again, it's a cool card, right? But I don't think Blue Eyes need it. Blue Eyes as well, they can't search this right now. Without search cards, it's kind of dead. And in Dark Magician, we have that, but you're gonna, you know, most of the time, you'll be using Magician's Rod to search for a circle, and then Circle will grab Navigation. And as long as Circle, no, as long as Rod and Navigation are on the same limit on the ban list, then Dark Magician can gain all the power cards it wants. 
but it's not seen the consistency boost it really needs. Now, what what would have made that, you know, what would have given it that boost? Apprentice. And we know she's coming. We know she's coming because she was changed to Ultra Rare. And if we look at, at whereabouts she was changed, right? We know we're getting a match Spectres in probably the New Year's Day main box. And then after that is when she'll come in. So does that mean that she is either in the deck, just hidden, right? As a surprise, but she's a waifu card. So they probably would have wanted to advertise it rather than advertise these. Like, come on. Or is she an Ultra Rare in the selection box? <laughs> And I really think they're going to put it in the selection box. Because this, this card, more than anything here, helps Star Magician. Ah, oh, and, and the bigger thing that, you know, and, and, and maybe maybe the bigger thing, right, than, than that, is that we're not getting Circle in the box. It's like the Blue Eyes deck last year where we got, you know, we got White Star of Ancients, the mini box card, but we didn't get, you know, the Synchro or, um, or Sage. The difference here is that Future Horizon is one of the worst boxes to kind of go into right now. Ignore that. Because, you know, we've had Rampage Dragon, right, reprinted in the, in the, in the structure deck, right? We've had, um, where is it? We've had Super Terry Samuel Wagon in the Super Mini. We've had Overload Fusion. Okay, Overload Fusion can kind of stay, right? But you get the picture. We've had Cyber Dragon stuff reprinted in the structure deck. We've had Super Heavy Samurai in the selection box. And... We don't really need anything else from this box. So you're only going to the box to pull three copies of Circle. Now, that does mean that your dream ticket becomes a bit more um, targeted for this box if it's not in there, which I think is a waste. I think you should play, you know, use that on staples. But, you know, not including Circle is a tactical move to kind of screw you over. <laughs> um, and... The thing is, you know, we are missing two or three brand new cards, right, with the Blue Eyes deck. We had a few revealed, and then we got some of the, the, the King of D, the, the Rhapsody, right, the Shadow Spell. So we're missing a few cards, and I think, I think one of them that makes sense, uh, that could be in here, is Secrets of Dark Magic. Which I just kind of butchered, there we go, Secrets of Dark Magic. Which is a card that basically either becomes a fusion spell or a ritual spell. Now, this would have made sense with the Dark Magicians even more. But given we're getting Strength and Unity that does support the fusion and ritual kind of mechanic, it would not surprise me to get that in the box, because that could then be searched by Circle and searched by Rod, which would then make playing the fusion build a bit more likely and would give the ritual build a big boost in consistency. I think that's a good shout. But by themselves, this card in Dark Magician is useless. This card is a one-off, because it's searchable, and the main thing they need to do is put Rod to 2 and Navi at 3, because that will then decouple them, and you can then, you know, you're, you know, with 2 Rod, you can at least then open into Navis, and then Navi, with your Illusion Magician, right, can search out Dark Magician, get it in your hand, then you have it set face down, next turn summon it with your circle, like, you then get the picture, right? So I still think we're getting this, you know, not in the box, but it'll be a super expensive card in the selection box, maybe New Year's Day, you know, New Year's Day main box, if they forgot, to actually change it, and that's why it came out so late in the rarity changes, but I doubt it. So we'll have to wait and see, but uh, yeah, overall, you know, Anniversary is looking fine. Monster Reborn is very, very cool, you know, <laughs> really, really good with getting it, and, and I prefer this. I prefer this over getting a card like Alternative, because any deck can run this. An Alternative is just giving Blue Eyes a boost. So if they want to give us more generic, high-powered support cards via Anniversary campaigns in the future, and we'll for that. Uh, the brand new skill, uh, Destiny Draw Monster Reborn. If this doesn't have some bonus to it, then you'll just run normal Destiny Draw. And also, are we going to get a brand new skill with this? Or are they going to say, this works well with Destiny Draw Monster Reborn? Because I think that's what they'll do. But if we get a brand new skill for this, that makes Fusion Summoning a bit more reliable in Dark Magician, then that could change this whole outlook of the deck. But as it stands, with just this, I don't think this has any effect on Dark Magician anywhere close to what we got with Blue Eyes last year. So, uh, yeah. Let me down below what you think of the brand new structure deck and the anniversary campaign. I apologise for this being a little bit late, but, you know, 4am, I was shit tired. I did the Master video, it got demonetized, so that was kind of annoying. But we're here anyway. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.